Tiberius' reign impacted Gaul negatively. His reign had a revolt in 21 AD, an economic hardship after Germanicus campaigned against the Cherusci prince, Arminius. On the other hand, there were dedications in his honor as emperor. Nevertheless, the results were, at least, not good. Gaul During Tiberius' reign, the foreign temple and the precinct occurred, and the foreign baths closed. Also, he took away privileges for the Gauls. However, there were dedications to Tiberius, and Gaul gave the most in the western provinces of the Roman Empire. Gallia Nabonensis An orator, Lutianus Montanus, was exiled to the Balearic Islands in 25 AD. Another notable figure, Catualda from the Gotonis tribe, lost against the Hermanduri tribe, and he retreated to the form Iulii. In addition, they did not suffer from the Gallic Revolt in 21 AD. Gallia Lugdunensis There was an imperial cult honoring Tiberius, and like Nabonensis, they did not suffer from the revolt. However, the governor, Achilles of Viola, participated in putting it down. Gallia Belgica In Nasica, a dedication honored Tiberius, but the province suffered from the revolt. Gallia Aquitania There was a dedication of Tiberius to the king of the Roman gods, Jupiter. Like Belgica, Aquitania suffered from the revolt. Germanicus Expedition to Germania Gaul participated in military provisions to avenge the losses at Teutoburg Forest from 9 AD. However, it economically hurt Gaul, and the people had to pay high interest rates, which led to an increasing debt. 21 AD Revolt In 21, there was a rebellion in Gaul. During that time, Gaul suffered debt due to Germanicus's expedition to Germania, and the Gallic tribes revolted. Two Gallo-Roman aristocrats, Julius Florus of the Treveri tribe and Julius Sacrovir of the Adui tribe, were the ringleaders. From the Roman chronicler Tacitus' perspective, these two tribes were peaceful, but it could be an exaggeration to make the Romans look better. The governor of Lugdunensis, Achilles of Iola, prevailed against the Nicavi and Tirani tribes. Then Florus recruited Treveri cavalry to attack the Roman merchants. But some inhabitants and the Gauls retreated to the Ardennes to avoid capture by Roman reinforcements. Next, Rome's lower Gallic allies aided the Romans when Sacrovir's forces took Augustona with 40,000 troops, about 8,000 with legionary weapons, and the rest with hunting weapons, and gained the weapons. However, once he moved against the legions from Germania Superior, he lost against Gaius Silius, who previously raided the Squani tribe and retook Augustona with two legions from the Rhine. Also, he faced a battle against the Gauls. Sacrifice forces positioned heavy infantry on the front and light troops behind in the center, and the flanks contained cohorts. Unfortunately for the rebels, they lost. Finally, Sacrovir and the other conspirators ended their lives. While the revolt occurred, Tiberius was in Campania and stated his intention to go to Gaul after the rebellion's end, but he never did. Also, rumors circulated in Rome about the 64 Gallic communities switching to the rebels, Germanic tribes supporting them, and Hispania thinking of defecting. As for Silius, he ended his life before the treason trial under Sianus in 24 AD, another figure for treason, and relating to the revolt, was Vivius Serenus' father, the allegation of planning to assassinate Tiberius. Finally, Sacrovir claimed Druidic priests to be the reason for the revolt, and some retreated to Britain, which was speculation. Final thoughts. 
In Gaul, Tiberius was unpopular, which was a contrast to Germanicus for his success against Arminius. Also, they were both demonstrated the economic problems after his expedition. On the other hand, the people gave Tiberius honors as symbols of his power and influence. Overall, Gaul had an unfavorable outcome during Tiberius' reign.